Hi, welcome back to the Gapster channel. I'm Gabby and this is going to be the Black Friday edition. What I thought I would do is look the last couple of years what I have personally bought myself and suggest some things for you that you may want to buy. So these are things I bought, I'm still using, I paid my, my own money for them. So it's not like uh, things I'm going to suggest that just to push things on you. So I was going to start with uh, something really simple and controversial, of course, uh, power cables. Uh, these are very nice cow power cables. They're basically shielded. Uh, they don't cost thousands of dollars. They're roughly around 50 bucks or so, and you can get them uh, from Amazon. And I'll put, I put, I'm going to be putting links of all these in the description below. But this is something great to buy, especially on Black Friday. You can get a pretty good discount. Uh, this is not, you know, a ten thousand dollar power cord, but it sure gives you ninety five percent without breaking the budget. It's still definitely better than those cheap little uh, power cords that you might be using right now. So they come in different lenses and different and different. Uh, shapes. I've got a couple of them here. Uh, at one time I keep changing my system. I bought a whole bunch so I still have a couple left. So as you can see on my, uh, on my Amazon, these are things I actually purchased. Uh, next, uh, I'm going to show you this one. This is a microphone system that I use when I'm recording. I'm actually wearing it right now by a New Year. And it's really good. It's a battery lasts forever. It sounds decent and it's sure convenient. The one I had before, the battery keeps running out. I don't have that problem with this one. This does actually record if you want, but it's a feature I don't use. But if someone is looking for a microphone, I strongly suggest this one. And you can get it uh, on the Black Friday deal right now. Another thing, product here that I've purchased. This is uh, an album by Macy Gray. Uh, you can get it off Amazon. Uh, sometimes it may not be on a super uh, special. It might save a couple bucks. Sometimes it's on special and sometimes it's not. Uh, also, what I like about this uh, album is actually this is just a, a fun factor that it's actually a, a white uh, a white album. Just for fun. I know a lot of audiophiles. I will cringe on that. I don't believe in some of the colored ones, but it's just for fun sometimes. Uh, it actually sounds good. The album sounds really good and uh, her jazz style is might be your style, might not be. Another thing I would suggest is those uh, power bars uh, that I bought a couple of those actually over time. And I made a special kind of video on them when you can actually plug different uh, power supplies with them or different equipment. And you can basically trigger them with your trigger, like a 5 to 12 volt trigger that's coming maybe from your preamp or amp. And that's going to trigger your whole chain so you don't have to keep pushing power on every one of them. Great for powering maybe an Ian Canada stack with uh, all these power supplies. And it's just one trick does it all. It's for people who don't want to, you know, wire things and use high voltages. It's all in one box, ready to go. Uh, next item I have is headphones, but these are not really headphones. They don't produce anything. They are basically for soundproofing, for, uh, for ear protection, basically. I bought these uh, when I was testing my speakers because I kept playing the same sweep. I uh, drove my my family crazy as well but I was doing it when they weren't around and uh, I was trying to protect my ears so I was using those headphones for uh, for ear protection for that purpose also use them when I'm doing some carpentry and stuff so they're inexpensive and if you don't have one you might want to invest in one of these if you want to save your ears uh, another product is, you probably talk about it a lot, this is an iFi product. It's basically a power supply that can, you can use for powering your stuff. It is not linear, but it is a good power supply. And it's starting to get a little expensive now, but it used to be a lot cheaper before. So uh, you could try it, but there might be even some better alternatives out there. 
Another product I use a lot is a light when I'm actually recording and also it's a great light when you want to just have a light that is not focused, you can, uh, this, that's more uh, diffused. Uh, so it's a photography light but you can also use it for many other things. I bought it once thinking ah oh, it's going to be okay but I love it and I use it all the time. I'm actually using it right now. I'll just uh, pan the uh, camera just so you can see it. Here it is right there. So this is also by New Year and it is called, I believe, the CB200. Uh, another one I use all the time is a Variac. And anyone that's tinkering with audio and especially if trying to fix any vintage uh, uh, products like amplifiers or CD player or whatever it is, you need a Variac because this is just a way to gradually increase the power on your uh, unit. I also use it a lot to supply, for example, when I buy a Japanese 100 volt uh, uh, unit like here, if you can see it. Like I said, these are things I use all the time. I'm using it right now. These are like not products I'm just trying to push on you. So I use it like this is Japanese uh, CD player. It's a Marin CD95. And it's, this is actually pretty cool. I'm going to do a video on this one. This comes with the uh, two uh, TDA1541H chips. These are the S1 kind. Uh, I will not be tearing the CD apart to pull the chips out, but I, I just, uh, it's kind of cool. Actually, the CD player does sound good. A couple other things I use here, like I said, these are things I'm using all the time. These are just on my bench here on my, uh, where I'm working. Uh, this is a multimeter. This one is by Klein. It's a very high quality 2RMS multimeter. And you can also do an amperage uh, check as well. Uh, I bought it to do the amperage uh, first, but I end up using it all the time. Another one I use it all the time is this one here. Uh, it's by Tesman and uh, I really really like this one. It's got a nice big screen and it just works and it's got some nice automatic functions. I made a video about these but these are I use all the time. You can see them like I said here on my tinkering bench. Uh, this is my Intel Nook that sits here. It's basically uh, my Rune uh, server. I made a big video about this. It's very popular and it helps so many people setting it up or setting something similar. So I strongly suggest you uh, look it up. But this particular uh, uh, Intel Nook is just handy and it just works great. Another product that I use a lot all the time is my Focusrite. It's uh, basically, it is a uh, an audio amplifier kind of thing that people use for, for, for videography. But in our case, we I use it all the time to check the ripple and measure the ripple on some uh, transformers because you need to amplify the ripple. Otherwise, it's hard to detect, especially when you're trying to measure down to the microvolt. And I've done a video about uh, using it and I'll put a link of the video as well in the description below. But uh, it's actually a good time to buy those things on Black Friday when they are on sale. There's a couple versions of it. One is has a dual uh, output and one has a mono output. One is fine. It's a lot cheaper if you don't need to. I ended up buying two for some reason that I rarely use both of them to be honest. Now right above it is uh, my desoldering gun, my Heiko desoldering gun. If you need to doing a lot of desoldering, don't fret, just pay the money, get the best. This is a gold standard in desoldering guns. I've tried so many, wasted too much time and, uh, and money and I wish I bought this a lot sooner. I'm not sure if this one is on Black Friday sale, probably not, but again, it's some of the products may not be on, on sale, but I'm just going through the things that I have that I have personally bought and that I would recommend for you. The uh, last couple items are actually more kitchen items. I uh, do a bit of cooking sometimes and uh, sometimes I just drink some coffee. Uh, this is a coffee maker by Gagia. If you're into more professional 
coffees. Uh, this is probably your entry level, but it's still a good one without spending a fortune. Uh, it's probably around 500 bucks. I'll put a link for it below. And it does everything somewhat automatically, except for uh, frosting uh, your milk. You have to do it manually, but it works great. Uh, it's made of plastic, but that's something if you want metal and stuff, you pay more for these things. But uh, for us, this entry level works just great. We've had it for almost a year and a half now. It's been working just flawlessly. And beside it is our air fryer. It's by Kosori, and I'll put the brand, uh, I'll put the model uh, underneath. What we love about it is that it's actually one single big drawer, so you can put everything on it. And this one has a heat element on the bottom and also on top, so that's very rare. So you don't have to flip things around when you're doing it. So it's perfect. Again, we love it, and it's been working great. And just uh, below that, if you're ever looking for a cheap, sharp knife, and these are always on sale on Black Friday is the best time to buy them. I'll put a link of this one as well. That's been working for us for the last couple of years, and it works just great. So, like I said, these are products that I actually own, I've been using for a while, that I've paid money myself, that I bought, as you can even see, it says purchased here uh, on, on my things. And uh, I just ran through all my history to see what I have actually bought. And these are some of the things that I thought might be useful for you guys. Uh, might, you, know, you might find something that you might like. Uh, all these links are actually affiliated links. So by clicking on them, you will help the channel by a tiny, tiny bit. But again, uh, the whole purpose is to help you guys in case you're looking for something similar to show you things that I've actually used and work. In this corner here, I'm going to put a video link about how to measure ripple on your power supply down to the microvolt using that Focusrite uh, little amplifier that I just showed you earlier. In this corner here, I'm going to put uh, different uh, songs that you can listen to on your stereo. These are very high quality, well-recorded songs that will help you with your system. So there'll be a little speaker in the middle if you feel like subscribing to the channel. My Patreon link is in the description below. And I hope to see you again in another video. Take care.